Hey, good morning, everybody. It's the Weird Kid on this beautiful Saturday morning here in Florida. Got up bright and early. Got out here and started working on the armature for the Plague Doctor. So let me show you what I got so far. All right, so I started... Uh, we got his pelvis, his femur, and... Uh, yeah, so I uh, I did. I sacrificed my red wings. Keith told me not to from cobwebs and candlesticks, but, you know, I just just had to do it, bro. Uh, got a brand new pair in the box, so I'm good. Anyways, it doesn't look pretty, but you know what? It doesn't have to look pretty underneath. It just has to work. So what I did was something a little different from Keith when he was working on his uh, um, grave digger, Mortimer. Um, his legs are straight. I wanted to give him like a bent knee posture. So instead of drilling a hole through the boot and securing it, I needed an angle in there. And so it wouldn't work if I had done it that way. So I did like him and I filled the boots, the front of the boots, to give it some extra weight and fill. And then I... Uh, I attached the uh, pool noodles and I got it in there secured where it's going to be and then I uh, filled it with foam even stuck it down inside and give it a good blast so it had a chance to fill in in front and then start to fill up this way and then I filled it in the, a big gap in the back and then I ripped I cut a piece of pool noodle lengthwise and then ripped it in half and then that's what I've used for shims, okay? These tongues, the boot tongues are gonna come in handy because once this thing's all dry, I'm gonna fasten a screw in there and then I'm gonna wrap this whole thing with duct tape. And you say duct tape, that's not gonna last. Well, it is, and I'll tell you why, because you know everybody's doing uh, corpsing. You know, they're using the uh, clear plastic and a heat gun for, for corpsing. Well, why not do that underneath? Why not use the clear plastic and do a corpsing effect, shrink wrap the whole thing on the entire body where you want it, where you want it permanent. And that way you're gonna have permanent protection underneath no matter what you're using to fill it in. So I think I might go that route. Anyways, I don't see keeping him outside, you know. Um, I live in a crazy little town, lots of thieves and interesting people running around. So I never did feel too comfortable leaving my Halloween props out at night, and especially in the elements. So the plague doctor here is going to be drug out probably nightly if I do display him. Um, so far, so good. I'm waiting for this stuff to dry, and uh, I'm going to keep working, fitting this thing and getting it all together. One thing I'm learning is there's no right or wrong way. Well, I guess there is a wrong way, but there's no right way as to proportions. Um, yeah, you can measure out your own, um, you know, the lengths of your, your, your legs and whatnot to help you give it, uh, you know, proportion. But when it comes to Halloween and props or, you know, you could have a, a, a figure with super long arms or super short arms, super long legs, or it could be a giant or it could be just a little bitty thing, three or four feet tall. There's no wrong way. Um, this guy here is going to probably be just a little bit taller than me. I'm not a very tall guy. So let's say he's bent knee, but let's say standing straight up. Let's say we'll put him at about six foot tall. Pretty good. I don't need him to be super tall. I just need him to, you know. But uh, what I forgot to tell you is that once all this is done, when this is dry, what I'm doing here now, like I said, um, the pipe's in at an angle. Okay, so the the pipe's going to be right about there and there, and it's going to have a little gap in it. Foam might have even got in there now. Same thing over here. I got the foam 
all around it and then a shim which is the pool noodle okay and i'm going to fasten a screw through the tongue and then i'm going to wrap the whole thing in duct tape so that should secure the entire thing and then of course i'm going to wrap it with white with plastic and then shrink wrap the whole thing on there to give it a permanent skin so the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to drill from the bottom up and all I need is a big enough hole because what I think I'm going to do is stick rebar in the ground and then stick him on top of the rebar. And that's how he'll stand. That's the theory anyways. I'm sure it's going to work. We'll make it work. But anyways, that's what I'm working on today. Um, it was good to see Keith's video this morning. He's got a... Man, the guy is... Uh, He's relentless. He, he, he keeps it going. And uh, I really like I like what he's doing, man. That's good job, Keith. Uh, good good for morale. Good to keep people busy. Uh, Vic, I'm looking forward to your video today, my friend. And I hope you're all happy and safe and having a good weekend. And uh, I don't know. I just might pop in again later on today. Give you another little extra supplement. And show you the progression of this thing. Anyways, have a good day. And I'll talk to you guys later.